Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You're watching for you take. Today we will be discussing the iPhone 13. In this video, I will be doing a long-term review of the device. Let's begin with the design of this iPhone. It comes with a glass back and an aluminum frame, making it comfortable to hold due to the rounded corners. A back cover is recommended since the glass back attracts a lot of fingerprints. It showcases exceptional durability with corning glass protection and a 7000 series aluminum frame. If I compare its notch with that of the iPhone 12, it is slightly smaller. However, the latest series features this dynamic island thing. When it comes to the display, it's a 6.1 inch Super Retina HDR OLED screen with HDR10 and Dolby Vision support. It's protected by ceramic shield glass. With a brightness of 800 nits, it can be boosted to 1200 nits for excellent visibility. The iPhone is powered by the A15 Bionic chipset. The iPhone 14 features the identical chipset as its predecessor and falls within a similar price range. This chip ensures smoother performance for everyday tasks such as browsing the web, checking emails and using social media apps. While the A15 Bionic chipset in the iPhone ensures smooth operation for most tasks, it also provides enough power to enjoy casual gaming without any lag or slowdown. It comes with iOS 15 out of the box, which is upgradable to version 17.4. Additionally, it will receive software updates for the next 3 years from the day this video is uploaded. When discussing the cameras, it's worth noting that the device comes with dual camera support, each boasting 12 megapixels. You can record 4K HDR videos at 60 FPS and capture 1080p cinematic videos. The front camera also allows for recording 4K videos at 60 FPS. Overall, you need not be concerned about the camera quality as it enables you to capture excellent shots. When discussing its battery, it features a non-removable lithium-ion battery with a capacity of 3240 mAh. Charging can be done with a separate charger. Additionally, it supports wireless charging with the MagSafe charger or Qi. With wired charging, it reaches 50% in just 30 minutes from 0%. As for battery backup, it has improved significantly after the 17.4 update. If you use your phone for daily tasks and casual gaming, it can last up to 6 to 7 hours. It can also last for more than a day with light usage, which is great. However, if you are someone who uses your phone a lot, you might need to charge it 2 times a day. In terms of drawbacks, it features a refresh rate of 60 Hz similar to other iPhones, which might not be sufficient for some users. I also dislike how it attracts a lot of fingerprints. Additionally, it offers an average peak brightness of 1200 nits, which is not dim under outdoor lighting conditions, but is lower than that of iPhones with 2000 nits of brightness or Android devices in the same price range with similar peak brightness. Another concern is that it tends to heat up significantly during charging or gaming. It doesn't support a fingerprint sensor and the face ID isn't quicker. Additionally, there is no support for an always on display. This device is currently running on the iOS 17.4 update and it will receive 3 years of major software updates as Apple promises support for 5 years of major software updates. As for its features, it includes a bunch of new emojis such as two head shaking emojis, a phoenix and a few more. Siri is now able to answer messages in multiple languages so that's a good feature. If you are someone who listens to podcasts frequently, now the entire podcast episode can be transcribed, allowing you to follow along with the text. 
you can now keep the stolen device protection on at all times. There are now a few new EU regulations that Apple is complying with. These regulations allow you to add third-party apps to your iPhone, set non-Safari browsers as your default, utilize NFC, and more. You might be wondering if it's worth buying in 2024. Well, to be honest, it's a good iPhone. With its durable build, exceptional camera capabilities, and intuitive software, it sets a high standard. If you can purchase it around 45,000 Indian rupees, then it's definitely a good buy. However, the best variant is priced at 52,999 Indian rupees, which I believe is too high for this iPhone at this time. In my opinion, if you can find an iPhone 14 for around 55,000 Indian rupees, that would be a better choice. It offers improved RAM management compared to the iPhone 13, resulting in better performance due to the GPU, although the chipset remains the same. I haven't noticed much difference in the camera segment. I encourage you to share your opinion in the comment section or on our Instagram page. The link is provided in the description. I'll see you in the next video. I gotta head out.